Suppose I is Academy Chairman Mr. Somashekar suddenly called me and said he wants to visit me. And he came exactly when I stopped the work at 4.30 to rush up to take a bath for my, to start my this discourse. And <laughs> he landed by saying at that time. And he was here for more than two to three hours. I took him around the ashram to show him the ashram. He was very much interested in what we are doing. Uh, for the children, for the especially on the education front, and for the children for the top post also. Our school is for KG to PG, and he wants to know uh, for to PG why we are passing civil service examinations, etc., etc. It was a very good dis discussion, and he came with his father too. And this is the fifth quote on the world famous karate master Mas Oyama, who fought 300 men nonstop for three days, defeated 250 professional fighters in the world, knocked them all down with a Gyaksuki reverse punch and a Rauluski Mawashigir, who introduced karate first time outside Japan, who spread karate to 140 to 200 countries. And we call it the strongest karate, the bloodiest sport in the world. The world was shocked. There's not on techniques alone, but the spirit involved in the human being. Physically, he took it out and put the world and made Japan after the Second World War one of the richest countries, richest economic might in the world. Mas Oyama said, human beings are capable of virtually limitless degradation. They are also capable of virtually limitless improvement and achievement. Success depends on goals and on diligence and pursuing. Human beings, he found out it was impossible to take the people because maybe, uh, so say, Master Oyama must have found out that after the Second World War, Japan has become a nobody. People are on the streets begging for food, crying for a shelter. They, but still they are not dying even after the atomic bomb in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The bomb, people were bonded beyond recognition and then they still have the survival, the fighting spirit to, to live. And you found if that was possible, you can take even to the highest also. He looked around maybe. Hence, in the training schedule, we found out most of the styles were teaching techniques like the bookish knowledge in all the schools and universities, making people and nobody so they can be purchased. We found out the exercise spirit to take you to the extremes of your energy. He made people, children, the students to eat seven times. Not one time, two days. If you don't eat seven times, seven plate, next day when you go for training and you show a little tiredness, you will meet people, you have eaten less plate. Because when you have more, more carbohydrates, more rice on your body, you have fat to burn. And when you can burn, you can roll like a thousand man warrior. That was a limitless action he found out. That you can train non-stop, non-stop without a break for two hours. And you can fight, take any amount of punishment, sometimes broken bones. But you never, never stop. He said, never stop. Only, only in English calendar, only in the Christian calendar. On the seventh day, you take rest. The sun has never taken rest. And so, so Masuema has taught the Kyokushin world that they should practice every day without a break if they wanted to achieve success. But the only one thing I found painful was the interpretations the students have taken was wrong. They all continued to teach and they began greed to collect the fees and rob the students. They were not teachers. They were not from teachers. They never became masters. If they had become masters, then they could have taught two days or three days. And the balance four days, they could have gone to the society to work hard in the society to break through the poverty level. If what must I say human beings capable of virtually limitless degradation, they are also capable of virtually limitless improvement and achieve improvement and achievement. He said, show your power. If you can do your push-ups, if you can kick ten thousand kicks, break it, break. 
the ice slabs, break the rocks, break the stones, and show it is possible to crack any nut which is stopping you from your path of growth. And it's a teaching three days and four, four days going and doing social service to help the poor, to wipe out the tears and bring them hunger. Christian members, followers of Christian members, they failed. That is only one painful part of the story. Otherwise, the teaching was beautiful. It shocked the Japanese society. 500,000 Japanese managers walking like the Kyokushin Kyo. When they are totally tired, when they cannot move even one step forward, there is only one spirit which says, Go ahead, fight to, fight to, they scream, fight to, they scream, fight to, they shout, yeah, oh. they never say, I'm, it's painful, they never said, I'm tired, they never said, they are torturing me, they only said, take it forward. And in the class seven times, you have giddiness, you fall down, you get up, and then you have started the first day of training, first time of the training, seven times, it is impossible. And India that I eat it this much. And that has made our country very poor. Human beings capable of virtually limitless degradation. They are also can virtually limit improvement achievement. That you can achieve anything possible. And Japan through Kokushin Karate. Pro they could achieve anything even after they were bombed and they became a nobody. They told it, it was possible to create heaven in a bombed country. Success depends on goals and our diligence and pushing them. But only one thing is follow up. You have to, do. that follow up is not to give a gap on the seventh day of what the Christian calendar says. On the seventh day, God rested. No! People kept on asking me, when, when, when do you rest? I said, when the sun rest that day and no rotten students rest not a single seniors have taken rest they do not know what is rest everybody work 365 if you all work please when my daughter Jimmy took over to Indranaga, she asked me when is my holiday i said makale have you ever seen guruji taking holiday have you ever seen son taking holiday we are not Supposed to ask that question because when millions of people are suffering, at least we should prove we can all like a thousand men more here. Success depends on goals, on diligence, pursuing them. When they took the seventh day holiday, they saw the smoke, the fire never came. The smoke was on the sixth day, and seventh day they would have seen fire. And you saw seeing fire, they went to rest like anybody, any slave thought after seeing the smoke, I can take a rest. And they never saw the fire and they think fire never exists. And that was the poverty of the land. That was where they never saw success. And they were only daydreaming. Never ever take rest. When you go to the factories and come back to your house, say no one can go spend every week or right in the house. You can see the family and the giant family blooming with the love and love to move mountains and oceans. You are capable to reach the top post only on your diligence in pursuing them. Just pursue them. Pursue them. And I guarantee any top post which you believe, it is in your hands. Thank you.